so into the CPV. So if you're explanation video for what we did in class today, we did five charts. Uh, you should look at your message uh, if you haven't already and try to practice those charts on your own before you watch this video. And then we did a four practice parsing to kind of learn how to parse participles. So again, if you haven't done those yet, uh, then try to do those on your own and come back and watch this video once you're done. So our first one is our present active participle for amo amare, and we were doing this one just for masculine and feminine. So we reviewed our, um, our formula for a participle. So the formula is going to be your present stem, which here is om, your vowel, which is the same as your imperfect middle vowel, so it's an a, and then a, an ns, the nominative NT for all the other ones, and third declension endings. So our chart should look like this. Amons, Amontis, Amonti, Amontem, Amonti, or you could do the E with Amonte. Amontes, we need to remember our I stems here. Amontium, Amontibus, Amontes, Amontibus. So that's our first one for present active. Notice we're using those third declension endings and we're using that present stem. All right, moving on to our next one. Here we have our perfect passive participle. This one's an easy one. It's just our fourth principal part and us a um, so our first and second declension endings. So here we have uh, ka ka, this one was feminine. So this is our fourth principal part of copio, right? Coptus. Kapka for feminine, kaptai, kaptai, kaptom, kapta, kaptai, kaptarum, kaptis, kaptas, kaptis. So notice we're just using the fourth principal part. This is that same thing that we used when we did our perfect passive verbs. We used our fourth principal part in our form of sum, but our participle doesn't have that form of sum. And again, first and second declension endings on that one. On to our next one. We're doing our future active. This one was for neko nakari, so we need our fourth principal part, which is nakatus. Take off that u, so naka. We add a ur to that. And then our first and second declension endings again, us a um. That ur is what tells us that it's future active, because otherwise, it would look the same as our perfect passive. So for this one, we have, this is just neuter, necatorum, necatori, necatoro, necatorum, necatoro, necatora, necatorarum, necatoris, necatora, necatoris. Again, getting those neuter endings in there, the um, then the a, uh, so this still uses our first and second declension endings. We just need to add that ur in the middle. Okay, and then our next one was our future passive participle. Our formula for this one is our present stem. So we're using wenio here, so that's when. And then our vowel, again, imperfect middle vowels. So for this one, since it's fourth conjugation, that's an ie. And then the nd, and then our first and second declension endings. So we're doing this in the masculine, so we should have weniendus, weniendi, weniendo, weniendum, weniendo, weniendi, weniendorum, weniendis, weniendos, weniendis. And for this one, remember again, we're using the ND to tell us that it's future passive. Remember, this is our butter pecandus participle. And then we're using that imperfect middle vowel. So we need the IE and our first and second declension ending. So here, second declension, since it's masculine. And lastly, we're doing one more present active one. So this one, again, we're doing our present stem, which here is out, because we're doing audio. And we need our middle vowel. Remember, this is our imperfect middle vowel still. So we're doing the IE, then NS, nominative or NT for all the others, and third declension endings. We are doing this one in the neuter. So we have audiens, 
audientes, audienti, audiens, audienti slash audiente. We wanted the E instead. Remembering our I stems, audientia, audientium, audientibus, audientia, audientibus. So again, third declension endings for our present active participle, and we're using those imperfect middle vowels. So we have the IE. All right, so those are our charts that we did today. Next, we're going to do some parsing practice. Now, the things that we need to parse for our um, participles are case, number, gender, tense, voice, mood. So six things for our participles. But remember, these are like adjectives and verbs kind of smashed together. So case, number, gender for the adjective ending, and then tense, voice, and mood for our type of participle. So I have four of them here for you to try. Let's pause the video if you haven't parsed these already and go ahead and try to parse them. I'm going to do the first one for you though, then you can pause and try the other three. So this one is Laudantem. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at my ending here, the EM ending, which I know is third declension. And so this would be accusative singular, could be either masculine or feminine. So I'll pick masculine, accusative singular masculine. And then I'm looking for my type of participle. I look at this NT. This NT combined with the third declension ending tells me that that is present active, a present active participle. So my parsing then is going to be case, or it's going to be for case number and gender, accusative singular masculine, present active participle. That's my parsing. So again, pause the video and try these other three and then come back for the explanation. Okay, so hopefully you did those. Now I'm going to explain these. So first we have laudatoro. Laudatoro, I'm looking at that O ending, which can be dative or ablative, singular, masculine or neuter. So let's go dative, singular, masculine. Then I'm looking at that UR here. That UR tells us future. Remember, that's our Sherbatorus participle. So that would be dative, singular, masculine, future, active, participle. Remember, participle is your mood. And on to number three, monenda. Again, a number of options for this A ending, and I don't know because we don't have context. So it could be nominative singular feminine. It could be ablative singular feminine. It could be nominative plural neuter. It could be accusative plural neuter. Let's go nominative singular feminine. And then we have that ND. That's our butter pecan juice participle. So that tells us that this is nominative singular feminine future passive participle. Now this next one was a really tricky one because we saw this NT. We might see this NT and think, oh, present, right? Our Vanellons participle. But if we look closely, we notice that we have WENIO here and the fourth principal part of WENIO is WENTUT. So that's actually our participial stem there, WENT. So it's not a present active participle. And we should also note that U-M ending, not an I-U-M, but just a U-M ending, that is not third declension. And so that tells us that this has to be nominative, singular, neuter, or accusative, singular, masculine, or neuter. Perfect passive participle. So nominative, singular, neuter, perfect passive participle. So. That's all of our practice that we did in class today. If you didn't quite get through everything, that's okay. Just do your best at home. I'm trying to just help you keep up. If you have any questions about any of this, please, by all means, send me a Jupiter message. I'd be happy to have you uh, to answer your questions. And I can also jump on a Google Meet and we can work through uh, some of this together so you can practice. Your homework, remember, is to do your vocab. Uh, our flashcards will be due tomorrow if you're going to be back tomorrow, or you can show them to me when you return. And we're going to do assignment number one to keep practicing our charts. Okay, I hope you get to feeling better soon. I hope you get to rejoin us soon. Well, Leite, just get